All right. Well, Stephanie, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you taking a few minutes and kind of sharing with us a little bit about your Uzine experience. So tell me, how long have you been using Uzine? Well, I'm trying to remember because it was like w from the very first that he launched it. So I've seen it from its, well, at least I think that was from the first time they launched it. Cause <laughs> I want to say maybe three years. I was, yeah. If you, if you were at the launch, it was about three years ago, just a little longer than that. So good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, uh, so how's um, your experience been? Do you find it easy to use? Absolutely. Um, you know, that's one of the things that drew me to it because I was, I was using some other programs. I mean, you know, there's other platforms out there. Right. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not a graphic artist. Um, and, but, uh, uh, and we do have a design team that, you know, obviously costs you a hundred bucks every time. You, right. <laughs> you know, and rightly so. I, I nothing against sure. that, but it, for me, I was wanting to do a lot of social media things and, um, just everyday posts and, and I needed a, a quick tool in order to do that. And then um, just the more it just, it, it just kept expanding uh, um, book covers and ads in, on newsletters and headers for the newsletters and uh, news, you know, headers for clients. And then before I knew it, it would, you know, I'm just like, Hey, like, you know, I'm teaching some other team members, okay, jump on here, you know, here's how to do it when I'm in class, when I'm teaching about social media. And these are small business owners that are wanting to find out, you know, they don't have all the money in the world to do right. things. And um, I'm a big believer in wanting to promote tools that we use often. I'm very transparent in our business. So when I'm sharing it with them, I, you know, I always let them know, Uzine. And it's, it's promoted at one of our things. And we, I, we let them know, like it's a minimal fee for what you, what you're able to do with it. So no program's perfect. Right. Um, but I, you know, I certainly like that uh, they keep upping their game and right. they're listening and taking feedback and making changes. So um, it, it's been a great experience. So uh, let's, let's stretch things just a bit, bit here. Uh, let's assume that you, you said a hundred dollars every time that you uh, contact the design team that you have. So would you say that that has saved you more than a couple hundred dollars a week? And, and I'm not a Photoshop person. I don't want to be a Photoshop person because that's what I want to pay the money for. You know, right. somebody else can do that. But um, yeah, go ahead. I'm so you you you're saying that that um, the, you know the social media posts. You use that for our social media posts a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. They last such a brief period of time. You know, you want them to look nice. You obviously want right. them to look nice, but this isn't something that you want to pay a graphics artist to do. It's something yeah. that you want to be able to do, get it out right. and move on. Correct. And uh, that can save you an awful lot of money by not having to pay somebody uh, to do that for you. So that's a, that's a huge benefit. Would you like to share some of the designs that you've done with us? Sure. As long as nobody laughs, because I, I do well, want to laugh, but that's okay. <laughs> Please, well, yeah. I mean, laugh with me, not at me, I guess is what I should say. You know, <laughs> okay. are you seeing my design? That looks familiar. Yes. I see your, your <laughs> dashboard. Okay. So we've been doing this a while, so I'm just going to kind of scroll down through here. Um, one of the organizations that are, it, it helped with quite a bit. I'm involved with a nonprofit organization and actually I'm involved with three different nonprofit organizations now. Okay. And, you know, being a nonprofit and it was a fairly new organization they didn't have, you know, high amounts of cash flow to be using. Um, so this enabled me to really help this nonprofit and um, I've done, um, Oh, and this is one of the things that I do have to say, I, I spoke up early on in the game, or actually my husband was the one who mentioned it first, was because when they first came out with Uzine, that you could only get 72 DPI. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. So we said, well, you know, you've got these templates that are supposed to be for print ads and posters and things. So in order to do that, we need a higher resolution because this isn't 
an online, it's a, you know, we're using this for print. And so within, I don't know, two or three weeks, they automatically made that as a, so I have been able to use, I mean, and again, we, we can laugh at these together, but uh, here's, these are some of the ads. Here's a poster here. Do you want me to open Just this Just click on one? view. So I was able to take a template and obviously I had pictures from the um, uh, the event, the venue, and then just added in, um, like I said, it's not, I, I don't claim to be a, uh, I have a better No, but idea. that works yeah. wonderful for a poster. That's for a poster. just great for a exactly. poster. Yeah, you, exactly. you've got to think about what's your goal um, in mind here. So This was another, this was a eight and a half by 11 little print off that we took. We were able, and because it's a, um, a, a black white poster, um, you know, which is why it's this way. Uh, and this I used a template for and just removed a bunch of colors. And I have a better example down here. If you can see, this was the example that they had in, um, in the template section. And then this is how I changed it around to um, be set up for, yeah, you know, for the program. So, you know, I, like I said, I'm not a not a graphic artist, but it works. <laughs> no, this is great. This is a, this is a great example of taking the templates that are available to you and modifying them to make them do exactly what you want them to do. So this is great. This is good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so that's you know some print ads. We've also done. Um, I use it a lot for the social media posts. We I also, we do a lot of Facebook advertising for different clients, and um, but I've used it for newsletter headers. Let me see what else I've got here. Printed material. Um, our own for our own company. Here's some branded motivational quotes for like in Instagram and uh, right. you know Facebook and such. So, and now this, this is where that can save you tons of money because you've got the absolutely. ability to be able to turn out a high quality image right. in a short period of time. Exactly. So what I did here was because it's already linked with the free uh, pictures, you know, through right. Um, right. So I just I already had this quote. And then I literally just used the header text and then the subheading text and yeah. put my logo on there. And obviously I can change this around for, you know, different sizes that can be used, um, you know, for any of those. Here's another one that, I mean, we've done a ton of these. I have probably a thousand of these. Uh, lately. Yeah, I can I've see a pretty full dashboard. So cool. I do. I do. So we work with a lot of the massage, chiropractic, um, acupuncture, right. alternative health. So a lot of ours is, you know, health and well-being and mindset and different things. Uh, this Very one I good. Think, yeah, yeah. So here's another one. But it, it's a way to, that you can easily get in here. And then once you have it set up for one size, you just change those sizes on the top and uh, you're off and going. So I have found that I can create a whole month's worth of of content for so for five of our social media platforms in about four hours. Wow. Say that again. You create a month's worth of content. <laughs> a month's worth of content. For and five that's platforms. For five platforms in four hours. In four hours. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Now I, th now that does not include my planning time, obviously, right. you know, but as far as physically getting the job done and having it ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. You can't beat that. No. Give us give us one thing that you would uh, uh, like to share with the um, the Friday training webinar uh, audience. Just one thing that you think would be powerful for them to know. Well, I personally, I feel like that you know this. If you're like me, if you're a perfectionist in some ways, that and and we all have heard paralysis by anal analysis and over over analyzing it and thinking that everything had to be perfect. Um, it doesn't. And, but this enables me and gave me confidence that I felt good. good about sharing it and I could take action and move forward with very good. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I, that's just, outstanding. I think the you. templates help to kind of restrain that for oh, us. It, it, it really time. does. Don't necessarily use the templates as much, but um, you know, we have worked for a ton of companies and uh, I, like I said, it, there's, there's, I would be hard pressed to find a day where I haven't, or maybe I shouldn't say that because they're like yesterday I wasn't in Usine at all. So, um, but probably that only happens maybe, you know, five times out of the month. Otherwise there's almost always something that uh, I'm jumping in and doing real fast. I thought it was kind of funny. I looked today, I had, I had Usine open in two different tabs. <laughs> and I, <laughs> that's pretty typical for, for my day. Yeah. Well, yeah. Stephanie, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to sharing this with our, 